I am going to post a little update on this incident. Basically, it's like this. Um, it's really easy. I just don't know what, where exactly I would be gone with this stuff. The police officers reappeared here. Uh, just, I don't think, for uh, legitimate reasons. They were asking me, in fact, to pull my hands out of the pockets, obviously to express uh, respect for them. Not for their line of work, but for them, and that's also how they left. Gesturing that I was the one also apparel to that, uh, who, why did I request the police assistance again? As you know, I'm sure that many of you know that if you would go and you would continue to request once, uh, re-request police assistance once you were explained uh, the situation uh, you could actually be taken you could actually be in prison for that matter police could come back uh, once they explain to you things uh, and if there was no if there wouldn't be any reason to uh, submit additional requests uh, they could actually take you because, yeah, you would be occupying their time, you would be bothering with the nonsense and stuff like this. This is the stuff I know better than what they do. In the U.S., I worked along with the police uh, and have very, very familiarized myself uh, in this line of work. I was interested in becoming FBI agent myself, Central Ag Intelligence Agency agent, a police officer, I have pursued that big time, a border patrol agent, correctional, those are of interest to me. So I know these things, I know a little bit about these things. In this case, I have instead requested, I have well explained to all dispatchers I have spoken with tonight, uh, the first thing I have explained to them is that I will submit a complaint against the officers who have uh, paid visitation to this location tonight uh, because of improper conduct, because of the violation of the Polish and European Union laws. The uh, second thing uh, I have explained to you that it's possible for them to just view the video which I have posted online where clearly can be seen that dispatcher was the one who have uh, re-requested their assistance and not myself and this dispatcher was very um, how can I say uh, very insultive in a way because he kind of treated me like a child with the logic that uh, you know it was like well and this is exactly the same um, explanation the two officers who returned back here have offered on how it's like you shouldn't worry that thing happened three months ago it's basically it's like this um, I am friendly with individual outside of the room very very friendly um, just like with everybody because I'm always open-minded the problem in this case is and I'm not excluding anything. Uh, the possibilities with me are limitless. However, the problem is that this individual appeared in my room out of nowhere. I mean, he would just pop up in there out of nowhere. And up to date, I have not get from this individual really anything else but like a little provocations from him. I could not, I did not receive any important, uh, you know, anything that I would benefit from, but rather it was really well designed uh, scenario that was used to, uh, you know, irritate and so on and so forth. It really was nothing else. The individual is just, uh, his, uh, his guide here, he's guiding everybody else here. It's like a boss here for these people here, for these families to uh, 
is using five other uh, individuals. These individuals are all single, not really single, but they have wives abroad. They don't even have them in Poland because of obvious things that are happening here. In this individuals then, uh, Chechens, what they do is they translate uh, his views onto other family families here. This is what this individual does. If he would signal me before, if there is something, you know, I would actually welcome him back. I would not have a problem with him coming back inside of the room. But he didn't. He just appeared. He appeared out of nowhere. You come back. It's 8.30 at night. What guess? You want to maybe drink something, eat something, go study Polish language. But instead of that, you are just in a situation that reminds you of your being kind of uh, viewed as stupid. Uh, I got uh, lots of humiliations tonight from law enforcement alone, from dispatchers. They suggested, just read on, read on my blog, all kinds of stupid uh, views, scenarios, like how I should just go, let's say, inside of the room and have a conflict with him and then call them and stuff like that. It's just bizarre, stupid. Asked, why am I even here in this place here in immigration? And what this stuff like this concerns the police? Like, uh, security is actually not important for the people that apply for uh, political protection in other countries. And, you know, why don't you just go and rent yourself in your place or just go to another location and stuff like this? I mean, completely stupid, nonsense. You know, all it takes is a single telephone call to the owner uh, and the whole thing can be uh, just uh, done within a single minute. That's all it takes. Me, I, and every other law enforcement officer, the first thing they would want to do, because obviously this is a conflict invitation, is the first thing they would want to do would be to find out why this individual was transferred like this into the room with someone with whom he had a conflict uh, three months ago. And as it appears, this someone is not willing to accept him in his room. And there are 44 other apartment studio units where this individual could be transferred to, but no, in his room and at night and so on and so forth. This is the stuff that uh, is a criminal stuff. And it does concern law enforcement because it involves domestic policy. It involves, uh, it clearly involves domestic disputes you know, that can lead into domestic violence very easily. And so how this does not concern you as a police officer, I do not know. And like I said, I'm going to lodge the complaint against them all. Now, tonight I had a very serious thoughts about something doing. Uh, I was very determined to get him out and the first thing what I tried to do was I tried a scare tactics I'll be honest I grabbed his belongings and I tossed them on a hallway I asked him to go out then on a hallway and I was not even interested in any kind of dialogue because there's no reason to have any kind of dialogue dialogue ended as a roommate and that three months ago when this individual would take a plate like this and he would push one to me like this in my mouth because I have audio recorded him because I have audio recorded the other guy when they started to push me they lied about how uh, I'm not cleaning the room and stuff like this and I have proven them with a video camera that they alone did not even clean the room and stuff like this I was the one taking the stuff out uh, and you know in the end uh, you know this is basically what I got and then he reappears in the room so what is it you know where do you want to go from there I mean you don't want to get confused maybe he got confused with me because I am communicative like this um, but, uh, you know, I separate these issues. One issue was whatever took inside of the room as a roommate 
And then another one was just someone I pass by when I go down in a hallway or we, if we accidentally bump here inside of the kitchen for a coffee or something like this, is a completely different things. We did not come that close that you would just go and do something like this. If you would want to do uh, something like this, you would you would explain. You would you would say, hey, by the way, you know, maybe we could talk something like this, and the best way would be maybe to do something like this or something like that. Okay, fine. We could do something like that, but this individual have not done anything like this. It just appeared over there. The whole thing looked to me more than anything a provocation. Is another Chechen individual who have caused too many problems for me within the last four months, uh, and then you get this individual. So uh, no, in, in no way, under no circumstances, in any way, I wanted to make him clear that he needs to go out right there and right then. Okay. Um, was determined for the first time. This is just not. Uh, this is just not. Do not part of me. Actually, I became determined because of what happened in the past, because of the incidents I have blocked that this individual would be actually the first one uh, I would drag out on a hallway even if I had to beat him inside of the room. And this despite of what police would come up with tonight. I did change my mind then, but it was a time when I pretty much was determined actually to do this tonight. This is just how bad this thing was. Not that I'm aggressive, but this is beyond idiotic. This does not have any kind of rational, logical approach uh, you would use uh, toward anyone like this. When you get into this type of uh, situation, uh, it's just the best to keep people apart for one thing. And if it's something else uh, that one of the two or whatever would like to realize, uh, then probably is the best to talk first uh, and see how that other party feels about it and not orchestrate something like this, like like have happened tonight. Um, clearly that laws about uh, domestic And safety and everything else from every every aspect were violated against me again tonight. That's a clear thing. Now, there is something else to all this stuff. Okay? And I have thought about that stuff too. Uh, you know, this individual... Hmm, if the physical confrontation was to start, this individual has hepatitis A. Uh, there is a very good reason why Russians have this individual here. Uh, hepatitis A is transmittable disease. Uh, it's You don't even have to be bitten to get one. It's enough for someone to spit in your plate and you get one. Alright, thanks for watching this video. Uh, till next time, again from Grotniki near Roch. It's already uh, December the 5th now, 2019. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, tomorrow is a Saturday, actually, tonight, today already is a Saturday. Uh, just right now, when I was up there, uh, I found uh, his bed empty. Uh, looks like he moved out. Uh, and that feels quite normal, I'm gonna say, quite normal. I, however, did lost several hours on what should be otherwise spent as uh, studying of Polish language. And we lost some more time because now I'm gonna lodge the complaint also against the police. So that's gonna cause a lot of additional problems. In Eastern Europe, uh, the police steals things. Uh, never mind the stuff I have now, I have bought a brand new Lenovo laptop. Um, it should be new, it was not new, it costed almost 2000 zloty, about 400 euros. 
uh, and have gathered the proofs about individual who sold me one as new uh, a store but was already used and all kinds of stuff happened and when I reported to the police the only thing the police did is in Slovenia they confiscated computer and they summoned psychiatrists against me this is how they do it in Slovenia it doesn't matter it doesn't help if you have audio and video recordings like I had proofs about what happened uh, they steal things, they hurt people as much as possible uh, and that happens once you go against the police, they always go against you and pretty much I feel this is going to be the case here too uh, in Poland. I am very unpopular already um, but all in all I don't know how this is going to end uh, odds are pretty slender for me uh, <laughs> I am happy, however, the rest of the world can see what's happening here in Poland. This is important, where the country is heading. That matters to me a lot. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Bye-bye.